Hello, and thanks for purchasing the LDG Electronics Z817H. The Z817H is designed specifically for use with the Yaesu FT817 QRP radio in conjunction with the Tokyo High Power HL45B and similar external linear amplifiers rated up to 75 watts. Other QRP radios and amplifiers can be used as well. This video series will help you get the most out of your Z817H and as a supplement to the information contained in the Z817H Owner's Manual. We'll begin by taking a look at how to install and use the Z817H if you're using it with a Yaesu FT817 radio. The Z817H does not include any batteries, so first you must install four AA batteries. Alkaline cells are recommended for long life and should last about one year. To install the batteries, remove the four screws from the side of the case. Slide the lid forward, then remove the lid and install the batteries paying close attention to the polarity markings on the battery holder. To reinstall the lid, Slide it on from the front. Pay close attention to the LEDs and the push button so that they line up with the holes in the front of the lid. Now you may reinstall the four screws that hold the lid on. Now we're ready to hook up the Z817H. First, turn off the FT817 radio. Next, connect a coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack of the FT817 to the TX jack on the amplifier. Connect another coaxial cable jumper from the antenna jack on the amplifier to the TX jack on the rear of the Z817H. Connect your antenna's coax feed line to the antenna jack on the back of the Z817H. Finally, connect one end of the supplied radio interface cable to the jack marked radio on the rear of the Z817H tuner. Connect the other end of the cable to the jack marked ACC on the rear of the FT817 radio. Be sure to use the supplied radio interface cable as some band data cables that are supplied with amplifiers do not contain all eight connections and should only be used to connect the Z817H to the amplifier. If you are using a Tokyo High Power HL45B amplifier, use the cable that was supplied with the amplifier to connect the Z817H's computer jack to the amplifier's remote jack. This will allow the Z817H to pass band data on to the amplifier for automatic band selection. LDG recommends that you also connect your Z817H to your station ground using the provided wing nut marked ground shown here. Finally, set your FT817's cat rate to 38,400 baud. Press and hold the F button, and then rotate the select knob until cat rate appears on the screen. Now rotate the tuning knob until 38,400 is showing. Press and hold the F button again to get the setting to take. You're now ready to get started using your Z817H. Set the FT817 radio to the frequency and mode you'd like to use. If you're using an HL45B, band data is passed through the Z817H to the amp and the amplifier will automatically select the correct filters for the band. You may wish to switch the amplifier to bypass during tuning to protect the amp from high SWR. Press and hold the tune button on the Z817H 
until the red status light lights up, then release. The Z817H will command the FT817 radio to switch to packet mode, change to a suitable power level for tuning, key the radio, and tune. When the tuning cycle is complete, the Z817 switches the FT817 radio back to the previous mode and power level. When all tuning activity completes, you may switch the amplifier back into active mode if you had previously bypassed it. That's it! You're ready to transmit. CQ, CQ, CQ.